Sometimes I really wonder what's going on in Europe, another European country making it easier for foreigners to enter, another European country that has launched a job portal that is specifically meant for English speaking foreigners, where they host a bunch of jobs, they also have a lot of recruitment events, and this particular European country also has the job seeker visa. I know I can go on and on and on and on, but the labor market around the world is just so crazy that anywhere that you want to be in the world, whichever country you aim to be in, this is the right time to target. There are so many immigration changes that keep coming every other week, and that's why I'm going to keep making these videos so that you can stay ahead of everyone else in this race. Hello and namaste, my name is Medina Gori and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm talking about yet another European country that has come up with a whole bunch of changes to make it easy for foreigners to access their job market. As always, all the information that I'm giving away in this video is straight away from the government websites itself, so I'm using only the government immigration websites and the government portals. That is also my recommendation to you. Do not trust any agency, do not trust any person, not even me when you're seeing the videos. Only trust the official government websites because there are a lot of scammers out there and I do not want you to fall prey to those scams. Alrighty then, too much talking has happened. Let's introduce the country. I'm sure you already know it by now. It is Austria. What I like about Austria is that it has a beautiful city of Vienna, it's bordered by eight amazing European countries on all sides, and it has a lot of English and German opportunities available. By working in Austria, you'll not only open yourself up to English opportunities, but also to German opportunities. You know how they say when you start staying in a particular country, you anyway develop and take over and breathe in into their culture and you make it a part of yourself. So learning any language can be much easier once you move there. And because German is one of the most commonly spoken languages in Austria, I'm pretty sure that once you move there and find an opportunity for yourself, you will be able to learn German and access all the German opportunities that are spread across the EU continent. Before we move any further into the video, I want to quickly thank Lingora for partnering with me on today's video. I create a lot of content around Europe, Canada, countries across the world. And if there's one tip that I can give you so that you can become a better expat and have a better shot at any opportunity globally, is that try and be multilingual. And by multilingual, I mean that you should try and know one language that is different from English. Obviously, when you're doing that, you want to make sure that you're picking languages that are being used widely. And that's where Lingora can help you. Lingora is an online platform where they teach you English, German, French, and Spanish online. And I'm sure you're already wondering what's new about this. Don't many apps already offer that? Well, Lingora is different. And I can say that with confidence because I've personally accessed their services. It is one of the top online language schools in the world where you have a very small ratio of teacher versus student. So there's a very small group of learner and then there is one teacher and this ratio makes it very easier for you as a learner to ask your question and interact with your teacher on a more detailed level. Basically, there's a real person teaching you the language. It's not AI, it's not an app, it's not computer. Now let's talk about how you can learn a language for free. So Lingora is running a two month sprint and super sprint challenge. In sprint, you have to take 15 classes per month for two months to get 50% of your cash back. In super sprint, you are expected to take 30 classes per month for two months to get 100% of your cash back. So you get to attend the classes, learn from a real teacher, learn the actual language and get your money back. Isn't that a win-win situation for everyone? I mean, who doesn't like such deals? So if you want to learn a foreign language, all you have to do is choose your language, choose your sprint, learn the language and claim your prize. Sounds easy, right? So if you want to better your chances in Austria or in general in Europe or basically Canada where French is also widely spoken or any country across the world which has a dense population of immigrants, I highly recommend trying out the sprint challenge at Lingora and learning languages for free. The link to join the Sprint or the Super Sprint is in the description box down below, so don't forget to check that out before you leave. So why Austria? Let me give you three basic reasons. The first being that education in public institutions in Austria is completely free. There's only a small fee, which is like a semester charge that you have to pay as an international student, and that's not more than three to 400 euros per semester. That comes to less than a thousand euros for an entire year. As an international student, you can also work part-time, 20 hours a week outside the campus, unlimited hours on the campus, and you can work full-time during the breaks outside the campus as well. And so they are able to cover up for their entire costs, which is living in accommodation by working either on campus or off campus. The good thing is Austria is going through some crazy labor shortages. That's why their government has introduced a slew of immigration changes for foreigners. That also means that as an international student in Austria, you do have a good chance whether you're looking for a part-time job as a student or you're looking for a full-time job as a graduate. 
So if you feel like you're somebody who's not very confident of your skill sets or if you feel like education is the right way for you to go about, you just want to enter a market in a very organic way, then maybe looking at education, especially free education that's done in Austria, is a good choice for you. And that's where my point number one ends. Point number two and three are for people who do not want to pursue education and are simply interested in moving for work. Point number two is a job seeker visa. A lot of people do not know this, but Austria actually offers a job seeker visa, which is points based. Austria was one of the first countries, even before Canada and Australia, to come up with a points based system. In fact, the Canadian system is heavily influenced by the Austrian system itself. They call their job seeker visa the very highly qualified workers visa. I know the term is probably going to put you off and you're already thinking, oh, this is not meant for me. But hear me out because I've read through all the info in details. I'm also going to leave all the links in the description box for you to check out or on the screen itself for you to check out and make your own decision. Unlike Canada, the point system in Austria is not based on your field. So you could be from any field. For all you know, you could be a fitness instructor, a makeup artist or even a doctor. As long as you meet the points requirement, you will get this visa. Now I'm sure you're asking, what's the points requirement? Well, you need to get 70 points. The max that you can get is 100, but as long as you get 70, you will get the job seeker visa. No questions asked. So the government does not really announce any cutoffs and no doing all of that. As long as you meet the 70 points, you will get this job seeker visa. You will be able to move to Austria and you will be able to look for a job. So how do you get these points? Similar to Canada, you have education, age, work experience, education in Austria, and language, both English and German. It's optional. You can choose whichever you want. So you have these five criteria on which you get points. Like I already mentioned, the max you can get is 100. 70 is very much doable as long as you have a basic college degree. At this point, before jumping onto the link, I'm sure you're already wondering, what happens if I get a job? Well, if you get a job, you move on to another type of a permit that's called the red, white, red permit. And the government has reduced the requirements for getting that particular work permit very recently. They have reduced the salary requirement by 19%, making it easier for foreigners who are not making as much money to even get this work permit. Just to give you a little bit of context, any country when they're giving a work permit to a foreigner has a lot of requirements. One of that is salary. You need to be paid either at market or above the market. Generally, the pay has to be above the market. Only then will you be able to give this work permit to a foreigner. This is not just Austria. This is most countries across the world. And that's why a lot of people find work permits to be very difficult to obtain. Since Austria has reduced the salary cap requirement, it has made it easier for you as a foreigner to get a job in Austria. This brings me to the end of point number two, the fact that you can apply for job seeker visa, you can then move to Austria, look for a job and eventually move on to a red, white, red permit, which also has been made easier for foreigners to obtain. I do want to mention that I'm already seeing a lot of commitment from the Austrian government to be able to recruit foreigners, but there's another step ahead that they've taken, which has made Austria an even better opportunity. And that is a job portal that is dedicated only to foreigners. This particular website is called Work in Austria. I loved this website. It was launched only in October 2022. Now, unlike a lot of other governments that have such websites, the Austrian website is zero bullshit. It has only relevant information. It's not trying to oversell anything. It gives you a lot of data points for you to make up your mind if Austria is even worth it for you. And it has a whole bunch of jobs that are out there. They currently range in about 5,000, more than 5,000 jobs that are right now open for foreigners. What I also like is that this particular job website is meant and targeted specifically towards English speaking foreigners. Of course, there are a lot of German openings as well. So if you're interested in looking for German jobs, if you have any kind of proficiency in German roles, then yes, you can definitely look at this website, but it is meant more towards English speaking foreigners. And you'll be amazed to know that I was able to find all kinds of jobs there, not just corporate desk jobs, not just IT people or doctors or nurses, but basically I was able to find chefs, I was able to find construction jobs, I was able to find makeup artists, fitness. I was also able to find auditors, which is my own field, accounting, uh, mergers and acquisitions. So I was able to find a bunch of roles that I personally look out for that kind of tells me how diverse the job market or the labor market is. And I love the fact that Austria has space to absorb so many people from so many different backgrounds. This website also gives you some amazing data points, like Austria currently has about 8 lakh foreigners or about 800,000 foreigners who are currently working there as employees. The average data, now this is not median, this is mean. I'm sure if you go and look for uh, this info on how what's the difference between a median and a mean, I'm sure you'll be able to find a lot of info. But 
the mean salary is about 49000 close to 50k euros now keep in mind that this is the average salary across professions i don't like this particular data point because it doesn't make a lot of sense if you're a doctor or a lawyer or anybody in healthcare you could be making a lot of money as opposed to somebody say in admin or uh, executive assistants or all of that so i don't like this data point but at least it's good to know that the average salary that you can expect is about 50k This website also hosts a lot of other info like immigration guide what to know when you're moving to Austria and they host a bunch of webinars and events there are a lot of in person events as well so if you happen to be in Europe or if you're happening to travel or visit or pass or if you're just moving on a job seeker visa then you can go in person for these events attend these events and see what are the employers available these are like job fairs so you can go interview then and there on spot and see what comes out of it they also host a lot of webinars so you can get info about you know what is the kind of resume what are the jobs to look for what are the fields that have a lot of openings salary expectations cost of living there's just a lot of info that's given out in these webinars and so i highly recommend that you join these webinars and get info out of this again i just want to give kudos to the government for coming up with such a simple basic functional and no nonsense website there are some countries that i can think of immediately who made websites but they are just so fancy and salesy so to say like they're constantly trying to sell themselves to foreigners i like the fact that the austrian government website is just very simple and informative and kind of stops at just like okay if you're looking for jobs in austria this is the place to look for this is all the info blah 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 there is no extra like salesy uh, situation going on they're not trying to push austria too hard to you and i like that i like that they're not trying to oversell that's a quality that i appreciate in the market that we are in On that note this video has come to an end. I've made sure that all the links that you need are either on the screen or in the description box below. If they're not in the description box below that's only because I sometimes get a lot of copyright violations and I want to stay away from them. So I'm pretty sure that they will be on the screen somewhere. So please make sure that you watch this video, you take all the info down and then you head to these websites and do more research. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Let me know in the comments if you're thinking about Austria. If you're thinking about any other country, please let me know that as well because that helps me plan my content. Like I said, if you want to be in any part of the world, this is the time. The labor markets are just crazy. The shortages are record at this point. Um I do expect this trend to continue for the next 2 to 3 years. At least that's what most of the labor reports are showing. So if you want to be in any place in the next 2 to 3 years, this is the time to decide. So make sure you add that in the comment below. I promise to see you in the next video. Until then, please make sure that you stay safe. Take care. Namaste.